Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add long shadows to your text or objects using Affinity Photo. In my case, I'm going to use desktop version of the program, but you can mimic this tutorial using iPad version as well. So let's start with the background. I'm using rectangle tool here. This way I can easily fill this whole artboard with the color of my choice. In my case, very light gray color. Next step will be to add text. So I'm using type tool and then I can simply type something. Maybe shadow will do. You can of course modify the size, color and font. And then simply reposition your text in the center of the artboard. All right, let's change the color of this text. I will pick the color of the background and make it a little bit brighter. Just like this. Next step, a very important one. We need a duplicate of this text layer. So right click on the layer and select duplicate. I made a copy of this text and I can change the color of the copy to be dark. Move it below the bright layer like this. And here's the trick. We're going to apply motion blur on it. So we apply motion blur on this dark copy, dark duplicate. We can change the angle just like this. Using move tool to reposition this dark blur layer. This is our long shadow right now. I'm going back to the bright layer, the main layer, and I will apply some layer effects here from this menu, like outer shadow. This way I can make this shadow close to the text a little bit darker. Take a look. I think we will change the blending mode to overlay. All right, you can see the difference. It's a little bit darker, close to the text itself. And using this very simple trick, motion blue, you can create a long shadow like this. For the final touch, I'm going to add a new pixel layer at the top with the gradient like that. Bright on the left and dark on the right side. This way we can indicate where is the light source. You can modify this dark side of the gradient to add a little bit of noise to it as well, a little bit of texture. And now simply change the blending mode. If you feel like this is too strong, you can modify the opacity to make it semi-transparent. And here it is. A very easy method to add long shadows to your objects or text in Affinity Photo. I will switch off some layers so you can see what is what exactly. This was the duplicate, this is the background color, and this is the main text. This is the main text without any additional layers. And now we can start. Background, shadow, text, and gradient at the top. Here it is. All right, I hope this was helpful. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more Affinity Tutorials. See you in the next one.